Hey guys, welcome back to Tomorrow Rule 16. I am your host Javon, and today we're back with a brand new video. Today I'll be showing you guys how to set up PCSX2 2022 version for the first time on an Intel HD graphics integrated graphics. We're running with the Intel HD 4600 with the i7 4790 and 16 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM in dual channel memory mode. Now everything you see here will be in the uh, description down below for you to download, and I mean everything you see me use. So don't panic about that situation. Anyway, we're using a nightly build for a PCSX2 1.7, literally just released. So we're gonna test this one out today and see what happens. So this is a new interface, basically. It basically looks like the GameCube Dolphin emulator, but we're needed. We're going to need to find a BIOS. Like I said, I will have everything linked for you guys in the description down below. We're simply gonna select that folder to have a BIOS works fine that's simple is that simple to get the bios anyway we're gonna go through the settings step by step and we'll see what we can do nothing much to do here emulation now i am using intel hd graphics so i need to be careful about the settings i use but oh my gosh this crap is crazy dude <laughs> holy crap there's a lot of stuff going on here graphics here we go so we're gonna wanna do I, I think we'll do 720p because I think the yeah the internet for this can do 6 720p we'll do fit to window screen I like to have it so that it's, when if you do 16 by 9 it still may have bars so you do fit to window screen to have it listed naturally and that's basically it for this as well the whole point we're trying to get the game to run native we'll try to get the game running at first and then we'll move on from there but I'll leave most of the settings as they are for right now and then we'll adjust as we play the game now we also have to deal with the controller as well whenever I can find it I will get to it <laughs> but yeah that's basically it for that we're gonna click on controllers now and try to set up our first controller Now this works with simply pressing the button. I have a, I actually have a controller set up right now using a SCP toolkit, so I just need to simply do this, and I can change my controller to how it's supposed to perform. Obviously, if you have a keyboard, you can just put in the keyboards, but that seems quite annoying to me. gonna take me a minute to put in these settings here hey like I said I'm really taking you through it can't say I didn't take you fully through it triangle square X and oh that's simple so now we've set up that, that's already saved. We're going to start the disk, and I'm actually going to be trying for, I'm actually going to be trying to run God of War 2 today, guys. I thought you guys might enjoy that one. And let's launch it. Right off the bat. But once again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget, please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and stick around for more epic content. If you guys enjoy seeing these types of benchmarks on the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe By button. By defeating Ares, Kratos, the once mortal warrior, became the new god of war. However, Kratos soon found himself alone on Olympus, shunned by his fellow gods. But Kratos had no need for the love of petty gods. He had found a new family in the warriors of Sparta. Now, like in I said, this is running in native. Oh, crap. This, is running. this is running natively right now. We're going to change that. My one. lord, Kratos! Another city is ready to fall! Soon all shall know the glory the of Sparta! Exactly how we handle that native, and then we may go up to 720. Feet. Enough, Kratos! With every city you destroy, the wrath of Olympus grows. Soon I will no longer be able to protect you. I need no protection. Do not forget that it was I who made you a god, Ghost of Sparta. Do not turn your back on me. I owe you nothing. 
Then you leave me no choice. Kratos had turned the pain of his memories into hatred. Hatred for the gods, who had refused to free him from the nightmares of his past deeds. And so he went to Rhodes to deliver the final blow to the besieged city. You will suffer for this! Better CPU, but as you can see... Don't let him open the door! You know, it's funny. I actually was planning on changing this, but I can see that this is already struggling. This is legitimately struggling to maintain even that 60. So we will be changing this, but this is how we start going up. Hey, it runs, really. It runs. I mean, what more can I do, right? It runs. But yes, we can upscale. It's just that upscaling for something like the Intel S2 4600 isn't really a thing you would do. I wanted to save God of War 2, probably in some older games, but God of War 2 is like, nah, bro, you ain't touching me. <laughs> so we won't be. But I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the gameplay, and I'll see you guys next time. If you guys want any more further clarification on how to get the game money, don't forget to leave a comment down below, and I'll do it again. And I'll help you out, guys, as soon as I can. I'll see you guys next time, and I hope this game this actually helped you out a lot. Also, this is only using 3 gigs of RAM. People like, like, you got 16 gigs. Who cares? If you have a new channel and you have 3 gigs, it's gonna run the exact same. The exact same. If you have on your 4 gigs, it's gonna run the exact same. <laughs> It doesn't matter how much RAM I have to that extent. It's only 3 gigs of RAM. It's not, not like that demanding for RAM. 